Hey Google, define retro. Here's the definition of retro, imitative of a style, fashion, or design from the recent past. What's up guys, I'm Steven, and today I'm gonna turn this thing into a Google Home. This thing is a super old FM radio from like the 40s, and I just found it kicking around my parents' house. Obviously, no one uses these things anymore, so I figured it would be super cool to put a Google Home inside of this thing. What I'd love to do is make it so that you can tap these two knobs and it would react just like tapping either side of the Google Home Mini. You can change the volume, and if I can, which would be so cool, I want to put the four little lights that shine through on the Google Home. I just want to pop them right here so it like, it's kind of like an old style Google Home Mini. So I have an extra Google Home that I'm going to rip apart and try and gut and find a way to put it inside this thing. You can take a Raspberry Pi and make that essentially act like a Google Home, but I have an extra Google Home Mini and I thought it would be kind of a cool challenge to figure out how to port it into this thing. I get to reverse engineer a Google Home Mini instead of just like building up a Pi following a tutorial that just feels less interesting. So I'm gonna rip apart a Google Home Mini and Frankenstein it inside this awesome shell and make this thing do something useful again. Oh, it's so pretty. Screw that. Okay, this thing is sick inside. So obviously a huge speaker and then this bonkers circuit board with just a bunch of stuff put in there and like hot glued in place. This thing is nuts. All right, let's start pulling some of this stuff out. <laughs> this is so big. They used threaded wood inserts to bolt the speaker to the grill and that held it in place. But like, this is such a manual thing. And they did this in mass production on probably thousands of these things. This is so cool. Things have changed so much with how we make things. It still works and it's 2019. So let's say it was made in the 40s. That's 80 years later from 1940 to now. That's crazy. <laughs> Your iPhone dies after a year and a half now. Wow. You see this thing? Look at that. What the heck is this? There's like a bunch of cables and pulleys and stuff to move these things around. How beautiful is this? Okay, you gotta come take a look at this. Okay, so front panel here. So when you tune this knob, look how crazy this is. And then it slides this carriage up and down. It's all pulley driven. Okay, enough playing around with this thing. Now I'm gonna try and get it so it looks nice again and then gut the Google Home Mini and stick it inside of the frame. It's gonna be so good. This thing is so cool. I can't wait to make it smart. Ugh. I love it. I love it. That thing was annoying as heck to get open, and it was probably because I didn't have the right Torx head to unscrew most of the screws, so I just used my Dremel instead, but it got the job done. This is what's inside your Google Home Mini. This is the speaker, but this just plugs in to the circuit board right on the backside, and that's it. That's the whole Google Home Mini. So speaker, brains, and then this little cable down here connects to where you plug in the micro USB power. See that little rectangular pad and that little rectangular pad? Those are the cap touch. Okay, let's see if this thing still works because I got all of it out, but I don't know if it still comes alive. Let's plug it in and see if it's still a functioning smart speaker. <laughs> it works! Let's try touching the capacitive touch pads. All right, so here's the front panel. Oh yeah, that's good. The mic's back on. Yeah, that diffuses really nicely. All right, so it's a few days later and I realized that I didn't try using the original speaker. This thing is huge. This is the original from the Google Home Mini. This is the one from the radio. If I can use this one instead, I totally want to because it's 
huge. Not only to just keep it a little bit more legitimate and try and keep as much of the old radio as I possibly can, but it's just super big. <laughs> I don't know if the Google Home Mini is gonna be able to drive this thing as well as it'll be able to drive this. My like speaker driving knowledge is pretty lame, but I'm gonna try it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I always got this guy. <laughs> it works! The mic's off. Wow, that's loud. Hey Google, play music by Andrew Huang. Playing Andrew Huang on Spotify. This sounds pretty good. Sweet, speaker works! Here it is, a Google Home jammed into a radio. Well guys, this one was super fun. It was really interesting trying to find a way to make this work. That was tricky. <laughs> I did not ultimately get these two knobs to work with capacitive touch. I tried to extend the leads from the actual Google Home over to these, but there was too much interference. It didn't work very reliably. And plus this is also kind of how a normal Google Home works where you like touch on the fabric next to the lights, so it's maybe a little more intuitive. I also love that it uses the original speaker, all the original electronics to power the lamps. These are actual bulbs in here running this that are 80 years old and they still work. I could not throw them out. It was just too cool. Hey Google, what is YouTube? According to Wikipedia, YouTube is an American video sharing website headquartered in San Bruno, California. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This one was so much fun, mainly because I got to see how things were made 80 years ago and see how things were made now, and then try and make them work together. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, Google, say goodbye. Take care. Hey, Google, cue me out. Thanks. That didn't make any sense. Oops. Ha <laughs> ha.